Abari, Soccer Channel, Todd Samaki, and like that promise my other video, I'm going to do a, my personal own summary of the Bleach, upcoming Bleach live action movie, Kaka Tekoi. Uh, for starts, how the movie's going to open up, because seeing, for start, we already know it's going to be based on that Agent of Shinigami art, and for start, how it's going to open up is like, it probably might, might be those type of scenes where, like, something is going on, and like, in the mid of the scene, it'll be like an all black screen, and it'll say like directed by so and so. Then it'll go back to the scene, and there'll be another black scene, and so and so starring so and so. And then, you know, just like the anime, it's gonna be some skateboarders uh, riding by, and they're gonna stop for a minute, and they're gonna intentionally run over a flower. And then, like, each girl from afar is gonna see it happen, and then it's gonna do the black screen again. Like, it's going to be, like, starring Sota Fukushi, Hana Sugisaki, Miyavi, and whatnot, Tachi Sota, Tachi some Tachi. And then it's going to zoom back to the fit to an official uh, uh, scene where it'll show Ichigo beating the shit out the uh, the skateboarders, just like we saw in the full-length trailer, which, by the way, I got to admit, was awesome. And he's going to beat their asses, he's going to say his piece. He's going to tell them to apologize, and they're going to scram off. And then that's when they're going to open up with his narration. I'm Ichigo Kurosaki, age 15. I can see ghosts and whatnot. I've always had that ability. And, and just just might be just like the anime for, like, comical relief, like, comedy relief, where you see, like, his father, Ishin, who, uh, by the way, looks like Keon Reeves. Um, he's going to, like tease each go or try to bully him or beat his ass or something and and then it's gonna and then somewhere it's gonna resume where fishbone eventually attacks his uh his his the korosaki clinic because in the midst after the skateboard scene you like see each go you know the narration and he might like see small glimpses of rukia around because no one else can see him fighting hollows and shit and you can tell he he, he and from there, you can tell that the uh, fishbone is coming to go get him. And, yeah. And, like, somewhere during that scene where he's in the clinic and his parents are teasing him. I mean, his, yeah, his dad's teasing him. He goes in his room. And he's just there for a while. And just like the anime, Rookie is going to sneak in his room. And she ne she doesn't acknowledge him. And he's going to intentionally get his attention, just like we saw in the trailer. And... Somewhere downstairs, you're gonna see Fishbone attack the clinic, like I said before, which is gonna cause Rukia to go down there. And Ichigo sees his family in peril, so he's gonna to try to fight Fishbone, just like in the anime. And considering it's kind of cleaned up, like you know, they censored it so it can be family friendly, so everyone, wherever in Japan, can see it and whatnot. Uh, uh, mm. Somehow Ichigo is gonna be the reason for uh, Rukia getting harmed, like we saw in the trailer. Look like. Fishbone was absorbing her, and she's going to be all injured, and she won't be able to fight. And before Fishbone is going to finish off his family and attack, just like we saw in the trailer, Rukia is going to give him his powers. And you know the huh, the one people keep making fun of huh in the trailer, he's going to get the powers. He's going to kill Fishbone, and pretty much just like in the anime and how we seen in the trailer, he's going to give that little thingy that we saw about his life. Age 15, Occupation, Soul Reaper, you know, teenage extreme, yeah, thing going on with the fire in the back and all that. Well, maybe that's changed. I, I keep hearing about that changing, like they changed the script or the scenes in that movie. I keep hearing that. So, I'm kind of on the ropes about the fire, the, the over-the-top fire in the background. And then, of course, like during somewhere in the movie where he's, where he's, when he became a Soul Reaper, just like we've seen in the uh, trailers, Rukia is going to prep each girl with the wooden sword like we saw in the park. She wasn't even looking at him. They were sparring. And, of course, they're going to do some, you know, fast scenes of each girl fighting hollows. And as more as the movie progresses, Rukia and each, uh, Rukia and each girl, uh, Rukia is going to ask each girl more about his life. And... Just like an anime, Rookie is going to get to the more touchier situations about his mom. They're going to show the flashback. And just like in the, in the, uh, tr in the trailer, 
well, whoever dubbed it, I forgot the name, but someone dubbed it, where it was Ichigo, he got in his feelings, and he said, shut up, Rukia, and, you know, it's translated and whatnot, and it's going to be more uh, character exposition, rather do dialogue or flashbacks, and somewhere while they were, and somewhere after all of that, when they're on the stroll in the night, uh, Renji's going to come there. And he's like, hey, Renji, what you doing here with this human? You're supposed to be coming back to the Soul Society and whatnot. And each girl's going to get in a quick duel with Renji. He's going to get his ass kicked or it's going to be an equal match. And Rukia is going to try to, uh, mm, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to uh, stall, uh, stall Renji for them to escape. And just like in the trailer, we've seen Renji's going to try to probably Tempt Rukia to come back, scream her name, Rukia, and all that. Yeah, we've seen in the trailer. And even before that, like during the part when they're sparring and fighting, you know, lesser hollows, uh, ehuches, yeah. It's like they're going to show scenes of the Soul Society and Central 46 or Yamamoto, wherever which is more or less uh, mm, dispatching uh, uh, Byaki and Renji to go get Rukia. And. Right after the scene, and right after the scene where uh, Rookie escapes with Ichigo from Ichigo's period fight with uh, with Renji and uh, uh, mm, with Renji, we're gonna go back to a more we're gonna go back to more. Uh, um, my guess we're gonna go to a more subtle scene where uh, he's gonna be in school and uh, from uh, Chad and Odihime, and of course Udi is gonna catch on to what's going on and catch on to each girl's identity and they're going to eventually see spirits and probably unlock their, their, their full potential somewhere in the movie at a minor scene and then uh mm. and then we're gonna <clears throat> hold on i'm actually still thinking it and i remember that trailer like a fucking book but i'm still still uh trying to grasp i'm still trying to elaborate of course, you saw Kisuke, so he's going to be there, here and there, you know, uh, boosting each go to go, giving them shit, and, you know, telling them there's a hollow buy and whatnot. I'm not sure if Kong's going to be in this film, so I'm exclusion that concept. Although we do see Rukia use the soul glove in the movie to push Ichigo's soul out of his body to go fight the hollows. Um, mm, let's see. Yeah, Kisuke is going to be here and there, and you don't. We don't really know who he is yet, but we know he has some tasks with Soul Reapers and Hollows and whatnot. Um, mm, let's see. Uh, Udiu is going to challenge each girl just like in the anime, and he's going to use the Hollow Bait to get the, the get the Hollows to Carl Core Town so they can duel them. Whoever takes out the most Hollows is going to be the winner, you know. And um. And maybe this the uh, the uh, mm, the memorial scene just like an anime is gonna pop up, which I also forgot to mention. And like during the early parts of the movie, Grand Fisher here and there is gonna be mentioned and whatnot. You know, he's gonna be hinted, like show peaks and all that. And eventually, he's gonna get there. And and mm, and then Renji might pop, and then and. Although uh, each girl knows he's there, he's not gonna fight him, cause he was too, cause he was, he kept uh, pitying himself for the death of his mom, which will, which would give Grant Fisher enough time to cause havoc to attack his siblings, and probably during one scene, uh, mm, each girl's gonna fight Hexapodius, the Spider Hollow, and Renji's gonna pop up again and like. Okay, each go. Let's settle this once and for all for what you did to me uh, at, earlier. And they detect uh, Grand Fisher being really powerful because Renji's gonna probably pay the, play the part of uh, Saito from the the filler character. He's probably gonna play the part of him in the movie. They're gonna kill uh, uh, mm, Hexapodius and they're gonna uh, perform Konzo on the kid that Hexapodius was chasing. And probably during that little squabble, Ishigo's going to get his mojo back to go fight Grand Fisher. And considering it's also, they're going to probably do it also during the same time, Udi's going to challenge him. It's going to be the reason why Grand Fisher came there to attack his siblings. Uh, Byakuya's going to probably get status report from Renji. 
Bianca is going to get status report from Renji. They both kill Ichigo and get Rukia. But then again, it was like, oh, wait, Grant Fisher is so powerful. We all have to find this common enemy. And it's going to be Udiu, Udiu, Rukia, Udiu, Rukia uh, Renji, and Bianca. And maybe even... Uh, Chad and Orihime here and there. They might like see the fight or something, or even Kisuke. You might like be watching it afar on some type of screen or something. And they're going to find a common enemy, and that common enemy is going to be Grand Fisher. And Grand Fisher is going to be the stand in for the Menos Grandes. Uh, Ichigo and Udi is going to fight. So let's see. They're all going to find a common enemy. They're going to beat Grand Fisher. Ichigo beats him or kills him. And if in the movie case, wherever which, and then after it all steams down, Renji and, and Ichigo is going to settle their uh, is going to settle their fight, and just probably like the anime, they're going to pull it off. At first, Renji is getting on Ichigo's ass, and then Ichigo gets this weird power boost, which I can pretty much play a role in, uh, and he's going to get up on hit. He's going to uh, beat Renji's ass, and before he does the last blow. From what we've seen in the trailer, uh, Byakuya is going to step in and take out uh, Ichigo. And and from what we've seen, he's going to step on his face and cut him up and leave him for dead. And then they're going to take Rukia. And in the post credit scenes, you might see like uh, his friends puckering, uh, puckering him up after their fight. After their fight with their hollows. And it's going to be like a mid credit scene where it shows all of them going to Kisuke to prep. We go save Rukia from the uh, Soul Society. And that's pretty much the whole summary of the movie for, for me. Oh, and also forgot to mention, just like an anime, uh, Uryu looks like he's going to try to fight uh, Renji and get beat, by the way. But in the mid credit scenes, they're all going to go to Kisuke for uh, power-ups and whatnot. So that he can get there. And, yeah, pretty much just the summary of it. More or less. Uh, yeah, that's about. That's pretty much my summary. I got a feeling that you know, mm, you know what? Hold on. Here's the question I'm going to ask y'all. What makes people want to just wake up one morning? What make people wake up one morning and make a controversial video that might going to get taken down from Warner Bros. Studios or? Uh, Shinsuke Sato, the director of the Bleach film. I mean, what what makes you just want to get a cup of gel, just like I was drinking earlier, and get people that want to make and get a YouTuber to make a a video that's going to eventually get pulled off because I might be spoiling the film and maybe doing even much more. But I'm just saying. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> oh, uh, some more shout outs I meant to give. Uh, shout out to Chris Stuckman. Uh, shout out to King of Lightning. Shout out to uh, Clad the Wee Boo. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, Seth the Programmer. And whatnot. Uh, like and subscribe down below. Go to my Patreon. Give a thumbs up, notification, comment. I uh, would like to hear anything y'all would like to ask me. And uh, another... Uh, Thing, another piece of work I wanted to show y'all. This is one of my latest ones. Uh, oh, and also give feedback on the on the picture of, on what y'all like about it. Quite hairy.